So surprisingly, I did not buy any makeup this month. Uh, in the Zoya Polish Exchange, that's actually the only cosmetic or beauty product that I did buy for the month of May, and I'll show you those polishes in June. So I'm on to accessories. I did buy three accessories for this month. Uh, one purchase was specifically for the concert that I just performed in a few days ago for the Grand Rapids Women's Course. I had to get new shoes to wear with my black trousers. So let me show you those. And I love these. They're kind of booty shoes and they are made by Franco Sarto. And here they are. They cool. They are actually open peep toe with multiple straps. These straps can be adjusted and then a very solid triangular heel. And you'll see I actually affixed some uh, tape for slippage and then on the inside I actually inserted a Dr. Scholl's pad for, for uh, pain relief and just padding. But surprisingly, very, very comfortable and they have a zip on the back. And they're made of black suede. And I just love them. I got them from Marshalls. They were on clearance for $29.99. And I loved them. I, I, I just I love them. And then I actually wore them out clubbing after that and danced in them for a few hours. And I can honestly say that my feet did not hurt at the end of the night. So they're really well constructed. They have a platform in them. So it kind of offsets the height of the heel. And again, the heel is so solid. I felt really secure dancing in them. So pretty cool, huh? The next thing I bought was a crossbody bag, a small handbag with a long strap from B. Mikowski. One thing that I'm always conscientious of is when I buy a good handbag, I want it to come with its dust bag. So here's the dust bag, B. Mikowski. Any good designer bag, especially a TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they have a tendency to throw out the dust bags. And if you're going to spend a little bit of money on a good leather handbag, make sure that the dust bag is in the bag somewhere. It is what you store your handbags in to keep them clean, keep them from getting dusty, keep them in shape. And, you know, I have handbags from five, six, seven years ago that still look brand new because they sleep in their dust bag or their sleeper bag. So, I came across this at TJ Maxx. I did spend, I think, about $40 for it. It is a leather, silver, metallic. It's not super shiny, it's kind of matted, but I just love it. Leather crossbody bag with a long strap. It has a little pocket on the back of it. And then it has hardware on the front in silver. And of course, I love silver. I tend to wear more silver jewelry than anything else. And you zip it open, and on the inside, it has like a leopard or um, some kind of a cat print interior and then a few pockets again to hold all those special things that you need for clubbing, lipstick, lip gloss, eye drops, gum, all that good stuff. And then on the other side there's actually a couple pockets for your cell phone, uh, business cards, anything else that you might like. And then it zips shut, nice heavy hardware and I love it. I love the smell of leather. <laughs> I have to keep it away from my little boy cat though. He loves to chew on anything leather. And I just think, I think it's a great little bag and I enjoy carrying it. It's nice and lightweight too. So there is that. And the last thing I bought, you're gonna laugh, <laughs> call it my ghetto hat. I have a habit to, uh, of uh, wearing ball caps to the gym, but I thought this would be fun for clubbing. It's a hot pink cap from Levi's. I got it from Marshall's for $4.99 or $5.99. And it's just, it's a ghetto girl kind of thing. Can you see me wearing this with my curvy girl necklace and some pink eyeshadow and some pink lips and some pink nail polish and I'm good to go. Have a good time around the way girl kind of look. What do you think? I love it. I love it. I'm silly. I love it. So that is it for accessories. Okay, and the last thing I purchased was an IKEA cabinet. I think I showed you in my studio tour video this cabinet. It is a Helmer. It came from IKEA. They run uh, $29 or $39.99. And unfortunately, I had filled this sucker up within a month with all of the stuff that I have in my collection. And I really just needed to get another one. So I did. This one is red instead of silver. Again, it has how many drawers? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six drawers. And again, it's a nice size. It's on wheels. So it's movable. It's portable. And I like the size of the drawers. And you'll see here I've already put stuff in it. So here are a lot of my palettes. Some MAC palettes. Um, some Sleek palettes. Some NYX palettes. 
And then I separated out um, my two Alice in Wonderland Book of Shadow palettes and then some unusual things like some MAC pigments uh, that came from the holiday collection for 2009. Excuse me, yeah, 2009. And then in the next drawer is all of my quads. I do not keep my eyeshadows in the 15 count palettes because you can't see what you have. I like to be able to see what I have. If I see it, I'm more likely to use it than let it sit around unused. Just And also, I think these are far more portable. Yeah, you have more to move around, but, eh, you know, I like them. And then in the next drawer is all my glitters. So originally, over here, I had all the glitters stowed in with my loose pigments and loose eyeshadows. It got to be a real disaster. If you look close, there is glitter all over the bottom of that drawer. I still need to clean it out. So. I shifted them out. I moved them over here. They're in their own in their own drawer now. All my colors and you know adhesives, things that hold glitter in place on your eyes and on your face. And then let's see. This drawer is just holding some loose odds and ends, some empty containers that I actually put glitter in, some eyeshadow samples, and then the bottom drawer has nothing in it. So for storage, I love IKEA, inexpensive, well constructed on wheels, portable, fun color. And so that is it. Okay, so I totally fibbed. I did buy one beauty product this month, just a nail polish from Ulta, an orally color, this beautiful color called Gumdrop. To me, it is reminiscent of like a Tiffany blue color, and it came with this little lip gloss on the side, kind of fun for nightclubbing just to put in the back, good to go. And here's what it looks like swatched. And I just think it's gorgeous. I've already worn it a couple times. It's actually on my toenails right now. I actually painted my toenails this funky blue and then sprinkled a beautiful silver hologram glitter. Yeah, um, another product similar to that would be like Max 3D glitter. But uh, I use a chunkier one so that it really f reflects a lot of light color. So this was fun. I got it from Ulta. It was about 6 or $7. Uh, I thought it was worth it. I just love unusual colors, bright colors. And so fun, fun. So that is it for the month of May. That's my show and tell. I hope you enjoyed it. It's always fun to share with you good deals that I get and some of my fashion choices. I tend to be eclectic and um, different, and that's okay. You know, you can develop your own style. You know, if they say in fashion these days, you can get away with just about anything. If you have the confidence to wear it, then you can pull it off, even when it might look a little silly, like my pink hat. <laughs> Anyways, thanks as always for stopping by. It's a great pleasure, um, a lot of fun to do, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.